All right, so here we go into game number three, uh, where my overlay loves to mess up. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if that works. There we go. Game number three here on Metalopolis. We have Eon the Teal Protoss spawning at the 12 o'clock position. And his opponent, we have the Yellow Protoss spawning at the 6 o'clock position. So we do have uh, Metalopolis cross positions, uh, which means we're going to have uh, most likely, well, two Protoss. We have Warpins. Uh, not necessarily a long game. Uh, but we'll see. Very, very early probe again from Formica. So I'm going to go ahead and call Cheese. Yeah, uh, Lost Temple, a little bit harder to cheese expand uh, without getting spotted. And uh, that's, uh, I think that's going to put this game in Eon's favor. Plus, it's a four player map. Uh, Eon did choose Lost Temple before getting vetoed. So I'm, I'm thinking he wants to go for a four player map where it's slightly more difficult for Formica to do some ridiculous cheese or all in. And it is cross positions, and we have seen that Eon's macro is stronger. And therefore, I believe these favors or these these positions definitely favor Eon for this game. And I think that Eon's probably going to come out ahead here. Not standing for any of this. Spots that probe immediately. <laughs> Cheats three times in a row. Not gonna work at all. Cheesing once in a while is not a bad idea at all. It puts the fear of your opponent in the tournament setting. Uh, n definitely not not a bad uh, choice at all. <laughs> uh, Eon making sure to get that second gas down. Um, that one got stolen as well. Uh, nice reaction time there. Um, but yeah, three cheeses in a row is is a little bit Actually, much, I think. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's 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 back up. There's three cheeses in the first game, <laughs> two in the second game. So this is actually his sixth attempt at cheese, potentially. Depends on what he does. And getting that pylon once again, right outside yep. of his opponent's base. Cheese number six. Cheese number six. In a best Here we go. Three. That, that, that baffles me. Like, I don't understand. That doesn't, I don't understand. I, I'm not sure Formica, maybe he just doesn't know how to play any other way. He just doesn't feel comfortable any other way. Maybe this is just the most fun way for him to play. God knows. I mean, if he uh, doesn't feel comfortable any other way, then he needs to learn how to play. <laughs> because he's not going to win. This is, this is yeah. the problem with Cheese, though, is he doesn't actually get any better by doing this. He's going to be in, what is he, bronze or silver? He's, whatever league he's in, he's probably going to stay in for a long time. If, yeah. if this is, like, the way he plays. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you need to learn the, the basics of StarCraft 2. Uh, macro, micro. Uh, macro can probably get you to platinum easily if you just build pylons and probes and just roll over your opponent with a larger army. And then the, then the kind of the subtleties of, of play uh, start to kick in uh, in that league. Um, but yeah, cheesing, cheesing. Although you know, a lot of like six pools. A lot of people have gotten it like diamond with six pools. Um, well, four gate has gotten people into diamond, but four that's because no, nobody knows how to definitely. stop a four gate so for some reason. Yeah, um, seems pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's a very a four gate's a very 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 strong build, and I mean, and there's so many different types, and uh, they're all they're all so strong. You know. Um, thing is, usually, thing is though, once you figure out how to defend a four gate. Like at Zerg, you can actually defend a four gate with a fourteen hatch. Right. As Terran, you can actually do like a one rack expand and defend a four gate. Like, once you figure out how to do it, four gate is such total crap. Yeah, a lot of things. Oh, sending Against two probes. Oh, Eon, oh no, just one. Never mind. One of the most was for Micah's. Uh, so gonna see exactly what's going on in his uh, opponent's base. Gonna see those two gas. Uh, albeit one is not being used. Uh, uh, there we go. Starting to use that gas, putting four probes on it. Uh, not the best idea. Probably just a little bit of a misclick there. Uh, Robo facility down for Eon. Uh, Killing that stupid pylon. Killing the pylon. Putting another pylon up in the gold. How, uh, how many minerals I... in total do you think Formica has wasted on pylons in these three games so far? Probably a few hundred at least. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I can actually count just from just off the top of my head at least 400 minerals. So he, ha he actually has he can just have an, an instant expansion with the, uh, the minerals. He's uh, just for no for no reason wasting. I mean at this point he knows his opponent's scouting like crazy for any kind of shenanigans. So why even why even try? Yeah, if you're gonna cheese the crap out of your first two games, another one, and then get lucky in your second game and actually pull out a victory because it doesn't scout your expansion, you should play the most standard solid game 
ever in game three. Yeah, because psych your opponent out. <laughs> like, I mean, Eon, Eon X was like, he scouted early, he sent probes all around his base, he took that stalker and was going all around his base, uh, got that stalker out really fast. Uh, uh, just these are things that, that if you play a completely normal standard game, and Eon is doing these things, you'll be a little bit ahead because he's like wasting mining time and uh, chrono boosts and stuff trying to get all this crap done. And then you're actually cheesing and he just spots it and then you're behind again and that's not good. Yeah, and uh, Eon once again is uh, pretty dramatically ahead of his opponent, 49 to 35 food. Uh, so could probably push out right now with this force that he has in the middle of the map and uh, do quite, quite well. But that probe from Formico has spotted that. Um, Nice forward pylon here, not quite as close as it could be. Uh, dropping a pylon up here, sometimes up here, uh, uh, gets uh, some great rein uh, quick reinforcements. Uh, the Zelnaga Watchtower is, is closer, definitely, but it could be a lot closer. Uh, and here we go, we're going to see an engagement. Eon X has uh, quite a significant army advantage. Nice, nice force field you. on the ramp there, cutting off uh, the retreat path for Formica. Going to tear through. That uh, is going to be game. This is g definitely going to be game. Eon. Eon expanding behind that very smartly. Uh, there's no sentries to hold the ramp. Eon uh, slacking on his multitasking a bit. But uh, all he really has to do is push up the ramp, and he has this game won. Uh, yeah, the pretty much. We'll see what Formica can try and do, but not a whole lot. Eon Pro do not do very well against Zealots. Um, don't know Don't know what he's actually doing here. Uh, he's, he's got a... I don't more. He's, uh, uh, his control is lacking a lot again. If it were me, I would be trying to push GG with my forehead on the keyboard uh, from go. frustration. But there we go. Uh, for Micah, thank you for coming out and competing. Um, Eon, uh, X Eon X, uh, congratulations. You will be moving t forward to the round of four, the semifinals. So nice, yeah. nicely done defending the cheese. Congratulations, sir. Um, okay, uh, stream viewer people, what did the lag look like on that, uh, on that game? Same as before. Um, that makes no sense. That makes That's no gotta be a Justin TV thing. I can't think, because the mouse and the sound are fine. Like, I can't think of... I don't know. XSplit is currently taking a hundred, uh, sorry, one percent or two percent <laughs> CPU. It's it's definitely not CPU lag. I have eight an eight core i7. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anything other than it just being a Justin TV thing. It's because... exactly the same. I wonder if it's an upload issue. Oh yeah, that could be. I wonder if it's an upload issue. Um, we have been streaming on... Oh, wow. This is pretty unfortunate. Um, okay, guys. Stick around for two seconds. I'm just going to... I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart... Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should restart XSplit or something. I mean, no, I, I don't think dropping the, the graphics is going to do anything. Uh, like, my CPU is at 1% load. <laughs> like, um, it's a... I don't know. Because... Um, I don't know. Let's hear Just out of curiosity... Uh... Watch the midget dance. Okay, guys, is this uh, is this lagging? How about is the video lagging? The video is lagging. Yeah, it is. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> It's YouTube's fault. Uh, I, I honestly have no idea what this could be, guys. Seriously. 
I honestly have no idea. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart uh, XSplit. I don't know. Maybe that'll do something. I'll be right back.